apply to other living beings, animals, and you know, how far any living beings reach up to bacteria or something. Um, or even to objects in the way that there seems to be a parallel between the interaction with environment in general and the interaction with other persons. So mm -hmm. I'm just wondering how they relate. Yeah, thank you very much. And most interesting question. Not easy to answer because, now of course, the perspective, um, in particularly, was introduced into philosophy by Martin Buber, uh, the "Du, Ich, Du, Beziehung, You" perspective, you would say. And we, probably many of you know that Buber also extended this perspective even to other living beings, even to a tree, for example, which comes near to me in a, in a, a very meaningful way so I'm so, you know, in such a way that I'm related to it in a in an animate animated way so to speak so it, it means something to me and I see the tree as being um, an, an, an embodied being as such as I am myself a, a living being which grows and um, which, which which strives towards a, towards a certain goal, namely um, becoming the tree that, he, that, 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 that it finally is. So uh, at each time we, have, we deal with living beings, they may um, arise a feeling of, uh, well, a you co correspondence, a you relation, which comes near to the uh, I-you relationship or the second person relationship which we normally have between, um, among, among human beings. Uh, now the question, of course, is how far could we extend this, um, and how meaning, uh, how well, how meaningful is it to extend this perspective to all objects that we interact with? Of course, um, our living body uh, may, uh, also relates and connects to objects in the way that I have described, so that even a, a car may become an object of of, of emotional balance, as um, particularly many male. Um, <laughs> Uh, auditors may know. So a, a, a car may have emotional balance and become a, 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 an object or even something like a living being to interact with. But we certainly should try and uh, restrict our notion of second-person perspective to living beings. Um, also here the question arises whether bacteria are, uh, are, are living beings in that sense. And in a way, if you look at bacteria striving to uh, towards a certain, um, well, higher gradient of sugar, for example, and overcoming or circumventing certain, uh, certain um, well, obstacles on, the, on their way, you may uh, kind of empathize with bacteria and, and they create a feeling of being uh, living beings such as I am myself. Uh, on the other hand, we also know by a psychological experience that we even are able to empathize uh, into triangular geometrical shapes that move in a certain way on a, on a screen, for example, if they bump into each other or try to, try to hit each other, so to speak. If I'm um, using words try to, you already see that I have empathized in triangular shapes. So certainly I know that these shapes have no inner uh, experience, I have no experience. Nevertheless, I'm able to somehow attribute uh, intentions to them. So I think the second-person perspective um, can extend um, over uh, far beyond human interactions, but we have to then um, take into account or, or uh, take well um, be aware that not all objects that our second-person perspective uh, um, extends to are really um, suitable for this. So we have to. Um, restrict our primary tendency to uh, connect with each object um, secondarily, so to speak, by being, well, by rendering ourselves uh, aware that this object, such a triangular shape, is obviously not a living being. First, some steps towards an answer. I think I have to restrict my answers. Now. <laughs> so, sorry. Javier um, and then. So I have a question about the default mode of the brain. You probably know there are many neuroscience uh, groups now working in the activity of the brain on the subject. It's not doing any kind of uh, task. 
Well, um, I'm not sure about that because um, I think the real meaning or the real function of the default mode is not clarified to a point where you can really be sure how, how well how it how it works or what is its function. So I would be has I would be uh, cautious to to interpret too much um, uh, here. It seems that the default mode is um, a basic. Um, state of the brain that um, that comes near to 